William Graham Sumner was a liberal American social scientist that was born in Patreon, New Jersey to English immigrants in 1840. Throughout Sumner's early life, he was taught three very important values, including sobriety, autonomy, and a personal responsibility. These three values had a very important influence on his books and articles he wrote later in his life. Sumner attended Yale in 1860 and later graduated in 1863. After Sumner graduated from Yale, he decided to study in Germany, Switzerland. However, Sumner would return in 1869 and return back to Yale, which he eventually started teaching in 1872. During his time at Yale, Sumner taught social sciences and political economy. Sumner would later be recognized for being the first teacher ever in his nation to teach sociology. In 1873, Sumner eventually decided to enter into the political area. In addition, he was introduced to social Darwinism and laissez-faire. Throughout the mid to late 1800s, leading on until the early 1900s, social Darwinism and its impact was at its climax with goals to encourage human competition and oppose intervention in the natural human order. Social Dar Darwinism was the idea that humans should be competing more or less throughout the struggle of existence. Social Darwinism has dealt with Sumner because Sumner believed that the humans who were the most fit to do so became the most successful. Sumner's ideal, ideal characteristics included brains, talents, and hard work. Although Sumner wasn't directly influenced by social Darwinism, rather supportive of laissez-faire economics, his principles were able to lead many to associate him with Darwinism. Through his essay, Sociology, he declared a statement on his own social philosophy, which described a link between biology and sociology itself. Sumner said, We have already become familiar in biology with all the transcendent importance of the fact that life on Earth must be maintained by a struggle against nature and also by a competition with the other forms of life. In the latter fact, biology and sociology touch. William Graham Sumner really um, popularized the idea of social Darwinism, um, and it had sort of the mixed uh, blessing, I guess. Um, it really drove uh, 19th century American society into a very capitalistic organization, you know, where people were um, all about make, making big profits and expanding, you know, their industries and all that good stuff. But it also produced um, a fair amount of racism and classism in that society that had to be fixed later on. Um, and it influenced a lot of people around the world. Um, it influenced imperialists and influenced a whole group, group of people. But, um, Sumner really came along and popularized the idea that certain people were born um, to be great and certain people were born to be poor. Um, and the people that were quote unquote born to be great um, really used that as a way to um, exploit working class people to, to their advantage to expand their industries and really build um, a modern industrialized society. Throughout Summer's time, he has been very influential towards people that were also very well known. Um, he influenced a lot of people, um, including guys like Teddy Roosevelt. And Teddy Roosevelt, we usually think of him as one of our great presidents and you know, all about making America a better place. But Roosevelt believed in the same idea that um, people that were born wealthy were better than people that were born um, poor. And people that were born as white you know, Americans were better people biologically than people who were born in Africa or Asia or Latin America. So his influence extended way beyond um, the time period of the Gilded Age. Overall, Sumner today is still recognized as one of the most influential Yale teachers and finding figures of sociology.